Um, so my first question to you is how long have you been working here? Uh, 16 years. 16 years, yes. wow. So what made you, um, kind of, what inspired you to start crocheting hats? You, you do hats, you do booties? Yes. For the all infants or yeah, just? I think in the 97 I teach this girl, this lady here, she came here in labor and delivery and she had problems. So she was boring and I teach her how to make a baby blanket. Yeah. And uh, she was almost ready to finish it when she had the baby. And uh, so I think they got pictures in the, in the hospital. Okay. And uh, after that, you know, I was like, uh, well, I love crochet. And uh, so people asking me to teach them, and I teach them a few people here in labor delivery. And uh, so some people, they catch me right away. Yeah, it's hard to learn. I tried learning before. No, that's easy, you know. So what made you transition from teaching, you know, patients that were in the hospital to, you know, donating all your time and energy to giving babies these hats? And I these started cards? because some people, you know, donate uh, uh, hats, you know, and uh, they take him, you know, we, we didn't have uh, for hats for a long time. And uh, so that's when I started making my hats. Yeah. And I put them the little flower, like... Uh, like this one. Yeah, they're so cute. And uh, so there's a lot of people like it, and uh, they're so happy. And uh, so every time when I make some, I was making here on my break or on my lunch because sometimes I eat breakfast at home. So yeah. On my break, I you know make some, you know, I'm I'm faster. So. So how long does each chat take? You think? Like 25 minutes. Seriously? Yes. Wow. And uh, and my lunch, I use you know a little bit, and uh, I start to make another one. So I make like three, and you know. When I'm not busy, when I'm yeah. busy, I just you know like a few stitches here. Yeah. You know? So what? How do you you know think of the design or what comes to you? What inspires you? Well, I just you know I just get in my mind. You know sometimes you know like for Halloween I make of Halloween and for uh, Thanksgiving for Christmas I make you know Santa Claus hats. Yeah. And uh, for Mother's Day for uh, Easter and you know for uh, thanks I mean uh, what's the name. Uh, for uh, like uh, Easter Bunny, yeah, Easter spring, you make more and spring then, designs. Yes, yeah, so I make it with the, with the, you know, the ears, the ears and stuff. And oh my that. God, that's so yeah. cute. Wow, so um, how do you get the materials and how do you, like, you know, maintain doing this for so long? Well, I got, you know, I buy the material when uh, they're on sale and uh, some of the nurses, they, they don't work here no more. And uh, sometimes they know I make the hair, so sometimes they give me some, yeah. you know, at least one or two skin or yarns. And yeah. So how many how many babies do you think you've given hats to so far? Oh uh, well, maybe like ten, you know. Cause yeah. Sometimes I don't have no time and I make some at home. Yeah. So the next. But time every baby that walks out of here gets yes, got gets one. Yes. And the booties too, or yes. that one or the other. You yeah, think? one of the other ones. Well, yeah. Well, most of the time the the. Head. Yeah. Like so, what else did you bring to show us? Yeah, I got the. You want me to show how to make it or? Yeah, sure. So you taught yourself how to do this? Huh? You taught yourself how to do this? No. How did you learn how to crochet? Uh, my mom, she teach me when I was uh, 10 years old. When I have, uh, I think, 12 years old, I make a bed spread. Okay. And uh, she gave it away and I was crying because that was the first thing that I made. Yeah. So do, do you have any uh, children of your, of your own? Yeah, I got uh, one at home. You know, some of us, I, I like to give a... Uh, and my, you know, my family and uh... Wow. So that's the flower? Uh, no, you want me to make the head or you want me to make the flower? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's cool to watch you do it. How, what else did you bring? Did you have um, any booties or anything in there or no? Uh, no, I didn't. I've seen them before. We'll, take, we'll grab some from the OB and take pictures with them. Yeah, okay. Hats are really cute. 
I can make some, but I got to make home, so. Yeah. yeah so. How, how long have you been working? Oh, you said 16 years at Silver Cross, right? Yeah. Why do you love Silver Cross Hospital? Why not? Uh, to everybody, you know, they're uh, so friendly, and uh, they, well, they uh, treat me like one of, you know, like one of them, and yeah. uh, they don't make no difference about me, you know. And, yeah. Do you have any like a um, memorable story? What was the best, you know, patient experience that you had here? Well, she was because you know she had problems with that, and she they had to keep her for I don't know I think a few more months, and uh, so she don't know you know she just like and she said her mom, her mother-in-law, she tried to teach her how to make a baby blanket, and uh, so she said she didn't have no patience so. On my break and my, my lunch, I go there and I teach her and I she catch And she was proud of her, you know, that yeah. she learned how to. So she was a patient for a few months at the hospital? Yes. So that's what inspires you, because people really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it's a handmade still, touch. She still, you know, and uh, send me pictures. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah so. so that's the bottom of the hat or that's the top of the hat? That's the top of the hat. So you, you, you crochet top to bottom? Yes. And that will take about, what, 20 minutes to do yeah, the finish? Minutes. I don't know, you wanna... I don't want to tape all of it, I'm just interested.